Two-part question. What is the best and worst personal financial decision you've made in your life? Well, that's it. I confess that when I got out of college and started to make a little more than my initial pay of $250 a month, and I was able to save a little, I, I did some investing in individual stocks. And they all had great stories, and uh, none of them panned out. And when I had a little more money, and I'm not talking about big league money here at all, I had a broker, a friend of mine from Smith Barney, and he liked to call me up and tell me to get out of this and into that. And it wasn't the fact that every single time I should have gotten into that and out of that, <laughs> which is the way the world works, but it was the damn phone calls. It was waste. I was wasting my time talking to a stockbroker when I had much better things to do in, in the office yet. So um, the biggest mistake I was was letting that go on too long, which is probably 10 years. No. Uh, I, do, I do own some equities now, always have, and um, basically dominated by, uh, I've been director of any number of companies, maybe five, uh, and uh, I've gotten option stock from each of those, and so I've kept those stocks that I've accumulated there and not sold them. But other than that, I really have very little to do. I did, I mean, just full disclosure, being full disclosure, I did, um, to show my confidence in my son's small cap growth fund, I made a pretty decent investment in that, and it's really done well. <laughs> so, um, the, and, and I think you could say, Ed, that is it really a mistake? A mistake, if, so, if a mistake is something you learn from with a small amount of money, it's probably the, it's probably the most brilliant thing that ever happened to you. So, um, yeah, that would that would be it. I, I I didn't get the religion adequately.